Hey, what's up guys? Domenico here, and today I'm giving you a really quick tutorial on how to use the factories in Fallout 4. Now, these are the machines that you can get to, to create weapons, ammo, clothing, you know, different things like that. And there's also a mod that I'm using as well. You'll see me in the back in the gameplay in the background, um, playing with some of the mod items like the auto butcher and you might see the recycler and things like that. And the Vault Tech Auto Loom is basically a mod that extends things that should have been in the game when this DLC released but weren't. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um but yeah that is a mod for anybody Who's wondering where to find the auto butcher because it's so freaking weird but cool uh yeah that's a mod so unfortunately you're gonna have to download that mod but obviously uh ps4 users i'm pretty sure you're gonna get mods soon um i'm obviously on xbox one and i've got it and pc users will definitely have it because your pc and PC is apparently master race anyway before i get into the tutorial i would like to ask you guys to leave a like and subscribe because it will really help me out so yeah please like and subscribe guys so yeah let's get straight into it so the things you're going to need is obviously power because these things need to be powered and if you want a conveyor belt like i show you in the video then obviously you're going to need conveyor belt and maybe power to uh, power the conveyor belt as well so make sure you've got pretty much a lot of power as you can see i use the um, I think it's called the fusion core generator. Yeah, the fusion core generator because it all gives off a hundred power, which is pretty badass and pretty dank. So, you know, yeah, the fusion core generator is probably your best bet unless you've got a mod that adds something that uh, adds more power or has more power or whatever. But yeah, that's that. You also need the factory of your choice. So, whatever factory so in this case i use the weapon forge or whatever and the ammunition plant because well they're just two things that i thought would be cool and they are and as you can see in the gameplay in the background i actually have um bathtubs connected not connected but at the end of uh, my my conveyor belt because well why not and i'll i'll get into that soon so yeah but you don't need bathtubs and you don't need conveyor belts actually you can just connect uh some storage devices to them and then they'll be in the storage device or the storage component uh for you to collect later on but i thought physical seeing the items that you produce is pretty cool in like a bathtub although i did go a bit crazy with the assault rifles as you saw but um yeah basically the next thing you're going to need is a terminal now terminal is what you use to select what these machines will make so um i selected to create like i don't know whatever they were whatever the ammo was in the ammunition plan on i created like snub 44 pistols in the weapon plan just as an example in the video i'm pretty sure you'll see that uh in a minute or you've already seen it i'm doing this as a sort of uh, a live commentary but also a commentary where i'm not watching the video back so you know whatever but um yeah once you've got um a terminal and connected it to your machine or power plant whatever power plant um factory plant i don't know whatever but as soon yeah you connect to that and you've chosen what you want you're obviously going to need resources now as you can see my resource technique is to have one of those uh tennis ball launchers or whatever or baseball launchers and uh ha fill it with uh <laughs> fill it with crafting materials or whatever and it just shoots out a long conveyor belt i just was mucking around with this so i just thought i'd get gameplay in the background of it because it's actually pretty funny um just reached 420 on the um speech thing yeah you know in, in audacity i just reached four minutes 20 seconds wow well obviously not now we're, we're into like 4 30 anyway um I, I just thought that was funny you know 420 blade anyway right i'm getting off track um so yeah so you've got the factory you've got the power you've got your terminal and then you've got your resources so pretty much that's all you need uh, so, so after you've powered it and you've powered the terminal you've powered the conveyor belts if you've got conveyor belts um or you've powered the storage if you've got the storage or whatever um basically the put you could put the crafting materials in the factory but like manually just 
have them in your inventory and just just you know put crafting materials in there or you could do it the way i did it with conveyor belts going into the back of the factories and like um i think it's acid that was currently going into them like they don't even need acid but fuck it you know anyway so there was just acid going into them and uh yeah i'm pretty sure that's all you need you just need power of the factory the uh, conveyor belts if you want them the terminal um and resources i mean it's pretty simple just connect it all up and then choose whatever you want to create and it should start creating it just uh don't go too overboard like i did with the bathtubs and actually talking about the bathtubs i just wanted to see phys- like the physical stuff i've made and stuff and i just thought it'd be really cool to see it's just sometimes well when the bath is full it floods and um as you can see for the assault rifles i needed <laughs> more than one bathtub for overflow so i stopped the um hopper thing that was taking them out of, of like, all the assault rifles out of the storage and putting them into the bathtubs i uh, turned off its power and um yeah so now they all go into a storage and as you can see in the video i have a lot in the storage as well so yeah that's probably um about for me guys that's that's pretty much it for me i really hope you enjoy if you didn't understand this um just message me or because my twitter and my facebook should be in the description so message me on one of them and yeah i've been the monkey guys and i'll see you in the next one see ya